day of vlogmas guys oh my gosh i am so excited this is my first ever vlogmas on youtube and today is the first day that i'm really getting into the christmas spirit i've been a bit slow this year with feeling all of the vibes i don't know why but today it starts in full swing so i am literally about to run out the door. I'm heading back to my parents' house and me, my mum and my sister are gonna make our wreaths. Each year we like to make our wreaths from scratch and basically just drink Prosecco and listen to Christmas music and eat mince pies and make our wreaths together because my mum, my sister and me all live in different houses so we can then put them on our front doors. And to me, that is the first proper start of Christmas. And oh my gosh, I am so, so excited. So honestly, guys, grab yourself a super cozy drink. My preference would probably be a hot chocolate with marshmallows. And I hope you enjoy my first Christmassy cozy vlog. Oh, I am so excited. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe because I'm gonna be posting lots of Christmassy content over the next few weeks. And I'm just so, so happy you're here. Let's go. I am in the coziest Christmassy outfit today. I mean, I'm not full on red Christmas yet. I'm giving that till the tree is up. And then all of my red Christmassy dresses are coming out. But I've got my favorite velvet pine forest green Christmassy fruit people trousers on. I've got a big cozy cable knit from Abercrombie. My chunky Zara scarf, and then I love this coat. I bought it last year, I think. It's a puffer coat from Reese, and it is just so cozy. And we're gonna do some dog walks and make our wreaths and go shopping and ah, best first day of Vlogmas ever. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. My sister very kindly picked me up from the station and we headed straight to Richmond to do a bit of shopping. We wanted to buy a couple of home bits for each of our flats and we also wanted to grab some food for lunch and for our big roast dinner that we're having tomorrow. If you live in London or are coming to London at any point and are near Richmond, but the falafel wraps at Beirut Kitchen, it's opposite Whole Foods and it's so good. Oh, I literally don't think I can wait another second. The car had actually run out of its parking meter, so I've actually run back to the car with all of the bags. My sister is still waiting in Joe and the Juice for our juices. And then as soon as she gets back to the car, we are going to head straight to our local florists, which always have lots of leftover trimmings, I guess, from Christmas trees. They kind of have all of the foliage that you need to make Christmas wreaths using kind of the waste products from when they trim any of their trees or any of their leaves to help reduce waste. They then sell that on or sometimes even give it away for free to help you make your Christmas wreaths. So yes, we're gonna head to the florist. Hope they've got some good stuff in already. Try and collect all that stuff and then go home and make our Christmas wreaths. Oh, I'm so excited. But anyway, right now I'm literally gonna have a munch of this because it is so delicious. I cannot wait. Oh, and here's Grace. I'll show you. She's um coming with our juices. She's got the juice. Well done. Finally got to the florist and yes, they've got all the bits we need. They have all of these off carts, which we're then gonna use to make our wreaths. You can also just buy like the ready-made things, but we, um, we keep our rings every year so we can make them again. <gasps> so excited. Okay, so we got all of the stuff that we wanted from the shops. Um, we got like clippings from Christmas trees. I've no idea what this is called. We got some eucalyptus and then we've each got our rings from last year. We have so much stuff. Oh yeah, we also got these really pretty gold and silver branches and some, I don't know exactly what that berry is called, but some red berries as well. And then, to be honest, we got back a couple of hours ago and have just sat down and watched... <laughs> I 
barley <laughs> wants his dinner because it's dark, but it's dark early now. You're not ready for your dinner. No, no, it's not dinner. Um, we sat down, we watched The pr Prisoner of Azkaban, and now we're just about to put on the Goblet of Fire in the background while we start making our wreaths. We have to wait another hour. Yes, yes, you have to wait another hour. It's, it's too early for dinner. <laughs> it is. Okay, let's make some wreaths. And then this is all the stuff that we've got from previous years. So in here we've got loads of pine cones. We sprayed these ones silver last year after we went to um, the New Forest, which is where my sister lives, and we collected all of these pine cones and sprayed them silver. And then in here we've got a ton more, like honestly, we have so many pine cones. And then in here we've got all the fun stuff. So we've got gold and silver spray. We've got more fairies. We've got loads and loads of cinnamon sticks, which we basically bought some string and then tied them up into these little bunches, but we've got, oh, and we also cut them up because they come really long. Obviously they smell incredible. And then, and then we have reams and reams of ribbon, some of which I have similar colors and I also use them for my tree, which I'll show you when I actually make my tree. We've got glitter, we've got, Oh no, damn, the bag is upside down, oh no. Um, but we've got loads of apple slices to stick on as well. Basically, we have loads and loads of goodies. So let's start the task of cutting up some of these bits so they're small enough for us to start making our wreaths. basically make a little bunch mm -hmm. and then you spin your wire around a couple of times. Very good demonstration. <laughs> and um, we have a lot to go. Mum hasn't started hers yet. She's going to come sit down in a minute. Mine is not quite as fluffy as Grace's is, but we're going to get there. And then while we're making weeds over there, Mum is making Christmas pudding. You've already started it. Yeah. Oh, that smells like Christmas. And here we have it. I've officially done the base of my wreath, which <laughs> I don't know how easily I can show you, but that's it. And then tomorrow we'll probably decorate it with all of the bits because for now we want some dinner, but a very fluffy green base. Happy. So guys, it's actually now a few days later and today's actually the 1st of December, which is so exciting. I've just finished quite a long day at work. I have come home, stuck my favorite brand new chocolatey Napco pajamas on, which are just the softest things in the whole world. And because it's the 1st of December, I want to put up a few decorations. I'm gonna do my main decorating at the weekend, but I just wanna put up a few bits, mostly so that I can enjoy my advent calendar with a bit of a Christmassy vibe going on because I just didn't get around to doing a full on decoration before then. I've put my wreath because I successfully made my wreath with my mum and my sister at the weekend. I've popped it here for now. Oh, I'm really happy with it. What do you guys think? I'm really, really happy with it. I've got cinnamon, frosted berries, bits of dried apple, pine cones, which I sprayed silver, little sprigs of sparkly stuff, and then I'm just such a ribbon gal. I just love ribbon so much. I've got this wired ribbon, which I've just curled slightly. And at the moment I've stuck it here. It's going on my front door, but I just, I'm saving that again for the weekend when I can properly do it. I've finally put on a Christmassy scene. There is no denying this isn't Christmassy. We've got presents, we've got stockings, we've got a glistening tree. All I need in my life is a little pussycat just like that. One day, one day. It's snowing outside the window. Oh, I just love it so much. So let's turn this on and let's put up a few Christmassy bits. I literally just want to put up a couple of small things so that I can do my advent calendar and kick Christmas and December off in the very, very best way. Oh, it's just, tis the season guys, tis the season. Okay, let's do it. Let's put up just a couple of little things 
on getting the Christmas spirit before the weekend. Ah. There we go. I am feeling so Christmassy now. Thank goodness it has taken long enough for the Christmas spirit to hit me, but I'm ready to hit December hard with all of the Christmassy feels. I absolutely love the little decorations that I've done so far. I'm gonna leave it here for my first Vlogmas video, but I am so excited for the pinnacle of Christmas decorating, which is gonna to come to you in Vlogmas 2, which is decorating the Christmas tree in just a few days. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you're also feeling super Christmassy. I am so, so excited to have you with me on my first ever Vlogmas. I love you so much and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.